Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate receiving an email over HF radio. A few days ago I posted a video on how to send an email. I actually used this radio here and this modem to send an email over radio waves from here in Virginia to a station in Massachusetts, and that station took that email, put it into the internet, and it went down to a fellow YouTuber, TR Prepper, down in South Carolina. Well today, we're going to receive his response to that email over HF radio. Before I start this demonstration, I want to address some comments left on the last video. This is a prepper channel. This is not a ham radio amateur radio channel. I'm not here to discuss amateur radio operations. I try to show how to use amateur radio equipment lawfully in a way that supports emergency preparedness and emergency communications. I'm not here to justify the cost of any individual piece of equipment that you see here on the bench. I beg, borrow, and steal from everybody I know to get all sorts of equipment up here on the bench to show you a wide range of equipment and how it might be applied to support emergency communications and prepping. Everybody has a unique circumstance or situation. Not everything I show here on the channel is going to apply. This modem here is $1,500. It is expensive. I'm not going to argue that. For me, I thought it was a worthwhile investment because of the capability it gives me. It allows me to send and receive email to family members who don't live in this state and that have no interest in getting ham radio licenses. But in perspective, this $1,500 for this modem is pretty much on par with an AR-15 and a quality set of optics. There's lots of things that preppers buy and not all of them are cheap. Maybe this isn't the right thing for an individual prepper, but maybe you're part of a prepper group and you can pass the hat to get the modem. I don't know because I don't know what your situation is. Again, I'm just trying to show how you can use different pieces of equipment to support emergency preparedness and emergency communications. Now that I got that out of the way, the last video was not meant to offend anybody or show something that had no use whatsoever in the prepping community. I'm just doing this to say this is an option. This could apply to what you're trying to achieve. So let's get on with the video. I got the camera pointed at the radio here. I'm going to use a desktop capture software to capture the software here, the Windlink Express. We're going to go ahead and connect to a station. We're going to try to connect to that same station in Massachusetts, W1EO, and see if I can pull down TR Prepper's email. So we'll roll over here to the desktop software. I'm going to select a channel. I've already opened up a pack tour session and I have a link to the radio's modem. That's what that Bluetooth light is. The computer is connected to the modem over Bluetooth. We're going to scroll up, and here's the station again, W1EO. This is a 40 meter frequency. So the dial frequency has to be 7103.0. So I'm actually going to change the frequency here, go to the 40 meter band. We're going to rotate down to 7103 to match the dial frequency in the program, 7.103.0. We need to be in upper sideband data, so we're going to go to upper sideband, and now I'm going to switch to data. I'm going to turn up the volume and see if there's anybody there. Okay, nobody's there, so I can hit the tune button and tune up. The antenna is now tuned. Because I'm running data, I'm going to turn my power down. We're already at the 50% mark. Okay, we have a link. The dial frequency is correct. Everything's up and running. Let's go ahead and try to connect to that station up in Massachusetts. We're calling out. Now that other station scanning a list of frequencies. That's why we keep calling. We're waiting for that radio to finish its scan cycle. And we have a connection. Not very strong. But he's in there. Actually, it's very weak. But this is a good demonstration to show you how robust the PACTOR protocol is. That even with all that static, you can barely see it in the display. We're still connected to that station and setting up a link to pull down an email. Now this modem will also auto throttle its speeds. So because of the poor connection, the weakness, we're at PacTor 3 speeds, 200 bits per second. Not very fast, but as signals improve, that speed would improve as well. We're actually going to pull down two emails here.
It's got one down. You can tell by the green status bar. Now the speed just kicked up to 600 bits per second because the band got a little bit better. Now we're up to 1400 bits per second, so it's auto throttling. So as propagation and conditions change, the speed of the modem will change. And that's what you're getting when you spend $1,500 on a quality modem. A really good piece of hardware that's dependable and works well. And we got that second email in. Now the modem and the radios will negotiate a disconnect. We're now disconnected. I'll go ahead and turn down the volume. And we'll open up the email that we should have got from Here's an SMTP message from TR Prepper. Let's go ahead and open that up. And there it is, got the email. So down below is the one we sent out in the last video. He received it at his Gmail account, hit respond, and it came back. And we pulled it down over HF radio by connecting to a station up in Massachusetts. So there's a demonstration of how to receive an email over HF radio, and I hope this demonstrates how applicable this can be in an emergency. If I lost all internet connectivity here in Virginia and my wife's family, who has no interest in getting a ham radio license, wanted to know how we were doing, they would still use the tools that they're used to using, their email. They could actually continue to send us emails from their devices without having to have a ham radio license. We would get them and we could respond. I think that's a powerful capability. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Comms Prepper with another radio email demonstration, this time showing how to receive an email. Thanks for watching.